Today we need to talk about one of the most important topics of all time. Well, I think it's important. It's called the disclosure that there is life outside of our planet, in the universe. There is life in the universe. <clears throat> Some people know that, some people suspect that, some people who have feelings feel that, and some people are waiting for the proverbial official statement stamped with a wax seal and blessed by the priests before they believe anything. Uh, that's the majority, by the way. The disclosure, I, um, you know, I have taken things on a very different level and I have presented information that is, was very different from what other people were sending out 10 years ago. 10 years ago, all of the extraterrestrial information was scary, it was dark, it was black, it was the evil greys the alien agenda, the cattle mutilation, all of these scary things. And people were scared. People would like, well, when is it going to be? When are they going to invade us? I took a very different approach. I focused on interstellar culture, some of my early work. And then it evolved into all kinds of topics. Uh, more recently, I've talked about this... Um, off-planet colonization that planet earth was colonized by interstellar cultures and some of those cultures look human you could say that some races on the earth ha have their um, cousins on other planets right and if you look at earth there's six thousand languages 6,000 unique languages. Some of them are so different that they could not have originated from Earth. But we've been led to believe that there is only Earth and everything is from Earth. Period. And if you look at if you look at the extraterrestrial agreements, if you look at some of the agreements, some of the language that was discussed in the agreement, so the human, the cabal, the cabal would say to the extraterrestrial group, we'll agree to these terms, but you have to let us tell people that humans are the only intelligent species in the universe. That was actually stipulated in some, some of the agreements that the cabal wanted to have this power over humanity. So those things we don't know because they're not publicly available. They will be available in the near future. I, we are in a window of disclosure. You know, I said it a little while ago, it's a slow process. There's a lot of things to negotiate and all of that's happening behind the scenes. There's a lot of negotiation as the, the, the awareness starts to rise. And when the awareness is ri risen, then things will be revealed. But the truth about interstellar cultures, aliens and spaceships and uh, our origins, the colonization of the planet, the... Um, the structures on Mars, the pyramids on Mars, the bases on the moon, the structures on other planets in the solar system, the, 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 the ruins of past civilizations on other planets in our solar system and, and, and other solar systems, all of that. And I discuss all of the basics um, on the website, Stellan.ca, right? S-T-E-L-A-N 
Stellan.ca, Stellan.ca. All of the basics, the Stellan children, the genetic engineering, the cabal. Um, I bring up one of the, the major agreements in the 60s, the 1964 agreement, where the four, four Earth governments uh, conspired with star visitors and they outlined uh, the structure of their cooperation. Now part of that deal has always been, was always part of the deal that there would be a disclosure. But all of that was, you know, distorted and maligned and there are ways to do this. Um, and most of it has to do with with cheating the sort of the high integrity of some of these star groups, these Stellans, some Stellan cultures. They're very dignified, they're very cultured, they're very advanced. So they live under very um, high protocols. For example, now there's too many to list, obviously, but for example, one protocol would say, well, when human beings are ready, when they ask for a disclosure, then we will present ourselves, right? And as that the agreements were set and forth and the process of this awareness and awakening, sharing knowledge, that would naturally urge people, push people to this hey, we want to meet these star beings. But the cabal said, well, we can't have a disclosure. And if these, these Stellan cultures need a, the people to welcome them, all we have to do is create a space monster and call it entertainment and scare people so that they never ask to meet the star beings. And then we fill them with disinformation and we brainwash them and we vaccinate everybody so that they never have the idea, right? We, we suppress all information and we ostracize and ridicule anybody who speaks up so that the population of the earth never has the idea not even the inkling of wanting to meet the scary monsters in space. That's one way, one way. So you, you, ruin, you ruin the awareness. The star visitors say, well, they don't want us, we can't go. And the cabal, the cabal over here is saying, you know, we got them. Let's, let's vaccinate some more people, let's take some more money, let's put people into total comatose state and enslave this planet once and for all. The result is where we are today. The, the mass enslavement of the human population. But over the last 10 years, people have been starting to wake up. Right? They're starting to wake up. Now, part of that end process is to have the disclosure, to realize that there are star beings. Now, personally, I don't know the exact star being we will eventually meet, because there are many. Some of them are very um, strange. Some of them are very strange, they look strange, or they're very tall, or they're, and they're very advanced. So they don't really communicate in human terms. I don't think we will meet those. Uh, some of them are, you know, more like uh, workers and technicians. They're not going to be, they're going to be in the background. So there's going to be, they're going to have to present a Stellan culture that is probably humanoid, and then maybe a Stellan culture that is, let's say, less humanoid. Or, and they're going to have to figure that out. 
but enough to convince people that there are there is life off planet now all of that is fine all of that is really i mean it's, t it's really terrifying most people are terrified as a result of me talking about extraterrestrials I have been basically excommunicated from my family and my friends. I have, you know, I've had very difficult uh, financial hardship. Um, I have had uh, ostracization. I have been threatened. My life has been put in danger. My personal life has been basically ruined. Uh, on and on. All, all because I have spoken about something that each and every human being has the right to know. Everything I have said, if it's correct, everything I have said for the last 11 years is a human right. What do I mean by that? I mean that everything that I have shared on a video or written or put online, everybody should have been told. You should have been told all these things. Now, whether you accept it, whether you understand it, whether you reject it, that's your prerogative. But it is a right to know. So that's the premise upon which I have done my work. And I don't know everything. I, I have made a lot of effort to find the information I have. And the information I have, it was not handed to me. They don't hand you information. Only the cabal operatives hand you information. Only the CIA and the NSA hand you information and make you feel all love and compassion. Oh, the aliens are so friendly and they're loving. Oh, the Pleiadians. Ooh, the Pleiadians. They've been here a long time. That is propaganda. In my view, that is propaganda. The real Stellans, the real star beings, they do not work uh, in those protocols. They do not operate at that level. Not from my experience. I've experienced quite a number of cultures, from human looking to non-human looking, and they do not operate on those protocols. They have very different protocols. So they don't f feed you everything. They do point things out, they do clarify, but a lot of the time you have to do the work. If you're, if you're somebody in my position, you have to do the work. Um, and then you have to develop the knowledge. And then you, usually that knowledge can be found. It can be developed. It can be um, discovered. It can be, and then with a few pointers, right? Like a good mentor, a few pointers, well, that's maybe don't go too far over here. And those, you know, those people over there are fake. You know, you, you figure out. So my material is basically what I have researched. It was not handed to me on a silver platter with caviar and champagne. It's been a very difficult process. But the, the, the bottom line is, and this is my point, everything that I have labored over for 11 years, you as a human being, have the right to know. You're supposed to be told. You're supposed to be told how the earth was colonized. You're supposed to be told that there are star beings who are genetically engineering future generations. You're supposed to be told that there's a secret space program, that there's a breakaway civilization, that there are people living on the moon, that, that there are pyramids on Mars. You're supposed to know those things and then you have, you, you have the free will to decide what you want to do with that. 
But to deny human beings the truth, that is, that is unethical and amoral. And that has caused the distortion in reality because we don't have all the knowledge. Knowledge has been suppressed, repressed, distorted, disinformed, and censored. You cannot talk about aliens, and they're not even aliens, because we live, we live in a holographic world. But for sake of simplicity, we can't talk about the Stellans on television. You can't even talk about it amongst your friends. People think, well, there's no evidence. <laughs> there's no proof. <whistles> right? What I'm saying is that the amount of knowledge I share is very basic. Right? It will completely overwhelm an average human being who has been inundated with the wrong information and has been completely blocked off. The, this information has been redacted from mainstream. It's completely redacted. It's, you know, it's a, it's a crazy conspiracy theory. So the, the information I share, because I can't talk about everybody, but the information I share is very basic. It is very basic. You will find it is, that what I have shared is quite basic. It seems advanced and overwhelming and exotic because, again, you, this has been redacted, it's been censored, it's been suppressed. So when the truth comes out, when the disclosure happens, and it, it is happening, it, we are in a window of disclosure. Whether it's today or tomorrow is, is, is irrelevant. We are in a window of disclosure. Within these few years, you're going to see an increasing amount of knowledge. Now, as the information comes out, you will realize that this stuff is pretty basic. And you will wonder why you were never told. Well, I have been speaking for 11 years. And there have been other people speaking for 20 or 30 years, right? There have been people talking, but we've all been called crazy, lunatics, nutcases. Uh, we've been ostracized, attacked, ridiculed, laughed at, ignored, excommunicated, all of these things, right? We have no credibility. As soon as you talk about an alien, you're talking, you know, science fiction. I've been told that had I written fictional stories about what I've talked about, I would have been a lot more successful. <laughs> but, but that's not the point. The point is it's not fiction. It is real and we need to discuss it. That doesn't mean I get everything right because, you know, I'm working in a very difficult environment it's all censored and redacted, and there's a lot of operatives working against my effort. Doesn't mean you get everything right. Again, that's not the point. The point is, this information belongs to the public. And when the truth comes out, you will find that it's quite basic. And you will wonder why they were afraid to tell you. And you will scratch your head. Why didn't you tell us? After 11 years of talking, I mean, I get attacked by anything I say. <laughs> so. And people half believe, I half believe you. Well, he, you know, he could be completely wrong. So that's the sad, I think that's the sad part of all of this, is that when the truth comes out, it will be, you know, for me, there's no, there's no great celebration because it's like, you know, it's like, think of something very basic, you know, how to cook rice. And let's say that that information has been suppressed and human beings never learn to cook rice. 
And one day, after people, you know, risked their lives to reveal the recipe of how to cook rice, which is you put rice in a pot and you put water in it and you let it boil, people will feel, I don't know what they feel, they feel very confused. But for somebody like me, who's been saying, this is how you cook rice, I will feel kind of disappointed. I mean, there's no celebration. It's just cooking rice. It's very basic. We haven't gotten to the gourmet cooking, right? We haven't learned how to cook yet. So, I just wanted to share that because you have the right to know at least what I have talked about and look at my information, you have the right to know that. What you do with it is your responsibility, free will. And people say I repeat myself. I do repeat myself because people have a, uh, people have the ability to forget. I'm going to keep repeating it. You, it is your right as a human being to know what's going on in the universe to know about the secret space programs, the structures on the moon, the pyramids on Mars, how the earth was colonized, how the human being is not an indigenous species. Human beings came from other planets and they came here. Some of these human beings were on other planets in this solar system and some human beings were brought here from other solar systems sometimes as immigrants, sometimes as colonists, sometimes as refugees from other planets and therefore they speak other languages. And that's why you also see some races on the earth, you know, they hate each other, right? They have like a historical ancient hatred or distrust of one another. That's because they come from different planets. <laughs> There's different planets and they've always, they've always been antagonistic. And then we brought them here and said, you're in that country and you're in that country. He says, I hate him and I hate him. You know, there's, there's a lot more going on. It's quite basic. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. We'll be talking about this for a long, long time once it comes out and people can can kind of get out of this uh, zombie hypnotic state i won't believe anything until the leader of the country speaks in front of a nationally televised camera and speaks from a teleprompter to instruct me on how to think for therefore without such knowledge i will not know how to think and therefore, I will revert to my hypnotic state of, Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> the disclosure window is here. We are within a new era of truth. And you will find it quite basic. As much as you've been afraid of it, your whole damn life. There's nothing to be afraid of.